Hi, this is John Zook and Corey Evans with Winfield United. We're agronomists in the field and we're here to give you an easy insight tip of the week. So some of the things we were talking about, uh, we wanted to cover our top three questions or so of the week. We wanted to give these updates throughout the season. So if you stay tuned for future updates, uh, we want to be brief, uh, be crisp and be gone on some of these things. So wanted to keep you in tune with what we're seeing in the field. So today's Friday, we finally got some sun. Check the soil temperature here out behind us and we're at about 50 degrees. We had some rain this week, so field conditions are a little wet, but look into the next uh, three, four days, the forecast look good and, and farmers are tromping at the bit to get out in the field. So Corey, what do you think? So John, first question I've got is today's April 21st. Potentially we've got some farmers that have corn in the ground and we have a few guys that are going to be ready to go early next week to try to beat a cold rainy spell coming in. So as a corn starts to germinate, tell me what the implications are of some of this cold, wet, rainy season that we're experiencing. So we gotta remember that the minute you put the corn in the ground, you got 24 to 48 hours, it's gonna take its first drink. So it's gonna take water in. That first drink is critical because we want that to be a warm drink of water. If it's a cold drink of water, we have chance of imbibitional chilling. So we had dug some seed here in the field that was planted behind us. And I want you to take a little bit closer look at the seed because I am getting a lot of questions about this. And some things to look at with this seed is you can see the radical, the long radical here is poking out. That looks okay. And then the coleoptile, you can see that coleoptile is starting to edge up to the surface. You can see the coleoptile hasn't moved as quickly as we like it to, but we do have some pretty good development on this corn that's been in the ground for 10 days or so now. If we did have imbibitional chilling, we would expect that this radical, would be wrapped around, maybe curled up. The coleoptile hadn't come out of the seed yet, and we'd probably see that that seed was mushy. These ones are still pretty hard, pretty firm, so we think that we're going to be okay. But those are some symptoms to look like if you got seed that's been on the ground for a while. So, question number two, John. When we see this wind pick up, we'll have a little bit of more sun. Hopefully, temperatures will pick up, and we know that the top inch and then the top two inches will dry off first and that'll look like it's ready to go for conditions. Tell me, would you maybe shallow up your seeding depth on your corn just a little bit to try to get that corn up and out of the ground, or is that a bad thing? Yeah, so that's the most common pitfall. By shallowing up the seeding depth, a lot of times you can get the corn up out of the ground a little bit quicker, um, but what's gonna happen is that seed is gonna experience a fluctuation in, in temperature that much more. There could be a 40 degree temperature swing in that top inch and a half. So we wanna make sure that that seeding depth stays down below that inch and three quarter to two and a quarter inch Corey. Great John, so question three, we had a really wet fall and now we're experiencing another wet spring. As we start to potentially jump the gun on getting equipment across the field and maybe run into a few compaction challenges, what's that mean for future growth and development of that uh, young corn seed now and as it grows and matures into the rest of the season? So we gotta remember that even though the conditions above on the surface at top three inches are gonna be good, it's always about that bottom six inches. So that three to nine inch layer mark, if those are still wet, we could get some compaction a little bit deeper and that's gonna cause uh, some root growth issues later on in the season. Last year I experienced and, and several of us experienced uh, some of those compaction problems. Let's not set ourselves up for the same issues in 2017. So I guess with that, that's your easy insight, three questions of the week. Uh, next week we'll be talking to you about some other, the, some other things we're seeing in the field, and we'll catch you in your neighbor's field.